Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, right? Another Frilici Friday. I'm Amy Frilici and I sound like I have a frog in my throat. Oh my goodness. So I have like this little cold. It's been getting better as the week has gone on, but apparently I haven't talked much today. <laughs> so I'm sounding pretty funny, at least in my ears. So anyway, sorry about that. Um, Hello, Carla, welcome. Thanks for joining us. So we are going to have some fun today. It's kind of a dreary day here in Michigan. Um, the crazy thing is like I looked outside, I guess it was even yesterday morning. I had, <laughs> you made it. That's cute. Yes, I made it too. Yes, absolutely. Um, I had mowed my lawn earlier this week. Last time, hi, buddy. Welcome, welcome. And um, was trying to get all the leaves picked up. And then like just yesterday, so Thursday, so like three-ish days later, I look outside and I'm like, you wouldn't even have known that I mowed the lawn because there are so many leaves that have fallen this week. I think from, we've gotten a lot of rain this week. Hello, Teresa. So I think that's made them all fall, which I'm bummed because I love like, you know, going out for a drive on the weekend and seeing like the beautiful colors and leaves. So I think we're about, oh, it's about over. I don't know, maybe another little bit. But anyway, so yeah, but, so inside we're having lots of fun. It's not dreary inside at all, which is what I love about stamping up and paper crafting and playing with all these fun things is even when it's like ugly, dreary, like we're heading into winter, November is going to be here, right? And November is really not the prettiest month, at least here in Michigan. So I'm super excited that we have lots of fun things to play with. Like, where did I put it? Oh, it's actually right here. We are going to play with today. This is the Christmas Classics stamp set. And I'm going to show you the stamp set. And then I want to make sure you guys know it's part of it's like kind of a double sweet bundle, I guess, two different bundles, beautiful, beautiful projects that you can make with all of these products. So again, Christmas classic stamp set. And I think what I love most about, and it's backwards, of course, but the font, like this beautiful, hey, Susie, the beautiful kind of cursive font. So we've got the season's greetings. I just, I want to stamp this stuff all over, like everything, honestly. Then we've got Christmas. So maybe you would say like happy Christmas or merry Christmas, if you guys can see those things. Um, yes, I think it's a great one too, Carla. Um, so anyway, little teeny tiny. We've got happy, merry wishes, holidays, and to you and yours. And then the deck, the halls. I love that one too. Peace on earth. Yes, we can always use that, right? And then tidings of comfort and joy. Um, <clears throat> Let's see what's Bonnie saying. Letters, leaves are better to pick up. <laughs> That's true. <gasps> Eight to 10 inches of snow already, Bonnie. Are you kidding? Oh my goodness. I haven't even thought about that. That's like a four letter word, right? Snow, especially this time of year. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. So you are getting it good already. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I don't know. Did you get a chance to pick up your leaves before eight to 10 inches of snow came? That does happen around here sometimes too, where like the leaves, you haven't even had a chance to rake the leaves and there's already snow on the ground. So, oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> I wish I was kidding. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. I'm sorry for you. Okay. So I, I guess I can't complain around here. Okay. It's all perspective, right? It absolutely is. Okay, so let me, I want to grab my catalog because I um, <clears throat> want to show you guys because that Christmas classic stamp set is part of, like I said, I'm going to, what do I want to call it? Like a mega suite, I think, as I'm like saying that I should have <laughs> double, triple checked myself before I said all that because now I'm like, where is it in the catalog? Um, wow. Okay, so maybe I'm crazy. <laughs> Oh, that's good. So your husband had most of the leaves picked up. All right. Good for him. All right. He's on top of things. Um, okay. So here I am. Oh my gosh. My last, my eyes. Okay. Christmas, cla Christmas classics. I'm, I think that says page 31. I am always complaining about my eyes. You know, I probably ought to just go to that. It is. Okay. So I'm going to call it another mega sweet mega. <laughs> Nancy, good morning. Oh, good. You've got your make and takes all put together. Awesome. I'm going to share those um, today on Facebook Live in just a little bit too. All of our team meeting make and takes because they were gorgeous. I loved those projects that we made at our team meeting. I guess it was last week already. I don't know. I'm always off on my weeks. So I'm like, thank goodness since I moved in my craft room now, my calendar is right over on the wall. So I'm like, I can kind of try to squint and like, look at like, okay, what day, what month are we in? So <laughs> anyway, sorry, I'm really not flaky either. It just seems like it on Facebook live, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'm a little bit flaky, but anyway, we're having fun and that's the most important thing. Okay. So joy of Christmas. This is the full like mega suite of 
um, products, right? Oh, yeah, Susie the Ribbon, it arrived last night. So if you want to come pick it up, I'm going to put it out on the porch. Um, so yeah, I've got, it's over here on my craft table and I just put it together and I just hadn't had a chance to let everybody know that the ribbon is in. But yes, yeah, so this was like the huge snafu for our team meeting make and takes. Um, I used some of the silver and white ribbon. It is beautiful ribbon. I absolutely love it. But anyway, when I went to um, order for everybody, it was like sold out, like I couldn't order it, but I loved the cards so much. So I was like, okay, we're gonna make these cards and then as soon as the ribbon comes in, I'll get you the ribbon. So yeah, Susie is part of our expired stampers team and she had the make and takes and she's like waiting probably impatiently right wanting to put her cards together so yes we have the beautiful silver and white ribbon in and nancy um i think you said you had the ribbon but i have um extra ribbon for you too so you can use that for future projects um so yeah and anybody else that's watching i will send you a message i promise that the ribbon is in and it's going to be out on the porch this afternoon don't come right now during facebook live because it's not out there right now but after facebook live i'll get it put out there for you guys so okay back to what i was saying talking about our christmas classic stamp set that we're going to play with so it's part of this whole joy of christmas suite so this is one of the pages in the catalog and you can see so in backwards though there's that deck the halls stamp that's part of that christmas stamp set so, oh, and then actually they did, oh, this was a good one here, right here. It says Christmas Wishes. So that's another one that they did from that stamp set. So then here's the other side. And you can see the two different bundles. This is what I'm talking about. When I talk about like a mega suite, we've got a stamp set and dies and another stamp set and dies. And then it coordinates with all the rest of the beautiful gems and ribbon and two different packs of designer series paper there also. So <clears throat> on the next pages, you will see, so here is the Christmas classic stamp set that I just shared with you guys. And then um, the dies are right there, yes. Oh yes, and Bonnie, oh, like, what's she saying? I also did my make and takes. Oh, at your scrapbooking weekend, awesome, awesome. Yeah, so fortunately I had enough ribbon, anybody that is kind of a long distance team member, I had enough ribbon to send to those people so they're not waiting for their ribbon. So Bonnie got to put her projects together, which is awesome, yes. Love scrapbooking weekends. Next weekend, actually I'm gonna go, we call it our girls craft o -rama. So it's myself, my friend Stacy, who just broke her ankle and her leg. So I have to go pick her up and help her get her stuff together and get her to our craft o -Rama weekend. And then another friend, Melissa and Jennifer. Um, let's see, Jennifer is hosting it at her house this time since Stacy is on crutches now. So we couldn't use my house um, because she doesn't, we don't want her to have to go up and down lots of stairs. So we moved it to my friend, uh, uh, not Jennifer, Jennifer's house so that Stacy can still join us because that was the whole like she was like, I don't think I can make it. I'm like, oh, no, I will come pick you up. We will make it happen. So, yeah, very excited about the girls crafting craft o -rama weekend next weekend. OK, so in the meantime, because I feel like I keep like uh, getting off tangent. So here's a stamp set. This is what we're going to use. And then there's a beautiful set of dies, which I didn't order the dies. I'm not even sure why. Um, but yeah, so stamp set and dies right there. And then as well, and I do have, what's funny is I got the dies, but not the stamp set on this one, because I love that Noel. So that stamp is actually a die also. You can't even see it because it's teeny tiny. In the back of the catalog, you see that it's big. So this one is called the Joy of Noel stamp set and then the dies that go with it. So again, this like mega sweet, two different bundles, um, the gems, which I can't remember if they're on back order or not, that black and white, uh, it's, not, it's black and vanilla gingham ribbon, and then two packages of beautiful designer series paper too, all in that suite. So my point in kind of telling you guys this is like, now's the time. If you have not thought about what you wanna make in terms of Christmas cards, treat bags, whatever you're thinking for Christmas, now's the time. You're gonna run out of time if you don't think about it and get things ordered as quickly as possible, right? Because there's a bunch, unfortunately, um, of embellishments and some of the ribbon, actually I'm looking at that silver and white ribbon that Bonnie said is gorgeous, it sure is, but it looks like it's um, not orderable until the week of November 12. So hi, Robin, welcome, so glad you can join us. Um, so just keep that in mind. There are some things that are not orderable right now. Um, I am happy to help um, Carla, who's watching right now. She um, got a hold of me because she was like, you know, I have this whole list of things that I want, and every time I go to order them, they're not available, and it's kind of driving me crazy. She didn't say that, but like I know because it drives me crazy too. She's like, it's taking me a lot of time to like keep like checking in 
And online, she doesn't also want to like put an order in for a bolt of ribbon and pay $7.95 shipping. So I was like, give me your list. I have like every week I'm putting orders in. So every week I try to order stuff for people that is not orderable. Um, so basically, if you're in that position, let me know. Send me your list and I'll just keep track of it. And as soon as I can order for you when I'm putting an order in for other reasons, for classes, for whatever, I can um, add that on to the order and get it for you also. So because I know it's been a little bit frustrating. There's lots of, I mean, I say that, right? We've got kind of a handful of um, ribbon and embellishments that are not orderable from the holiday catalog, but there's still a ton of beautiful stuff. So kind of pivot over to the annual catalog. There's lots of beautiful ribbon and embellishments from the annual catalog also that you certainly can use for your holiday projects too. But again, get your stuff ordered like ASAP because you wanna get going on those holiday projects, right? So, okay, man, let's see. Um, Oh, I wanna make sure that you all know last few days to get that awesome starter kit special. We have the two different options, Stampin' Up! celebrating their 35th anniversary. They started back in 1988 and we are 35 years old now. Um, so two different specials and I'm gonna have to put my glasses on because I wanna give you the numbers exactly. But what I will tell you is, so with the two different specials, you can either get a 35% discount on your starter kit. So normally you pay $99 plus sales tax, shipping fee is waived. So they're gonna take 35% off of that cost. You get to pick $125 in product still, and you pay, it is only $64.35 plus sales tax in your state. So it's like half off, basically. Pick $125 in product, pay $64.35 plus sales tax. That's it, you guys. That is like, I've had, we've had a number of people take advantage of that starter kit deal. Well, I don't even know who all, only the people that have ordered the kit through me, do I know what they've done, um, if they ordered, if they told me what they were ordering. Anyway, <laughs> but I feel like, I feel like there are a lot of people that have taken advantage of that. Cause what, you get like 50% off of your order and then you also get 20% off of all future orders after that. So it's such a great deal. I don't know if you love Stampin' Up! stuff, I don't know why you wouldn't get the starter kit. I'm just telling you, there's no risk. There's no worry. There's no pressure. Basically, you get the discount for as long as you keep up your minimum. It's a $300 quarterly minimum. They even waive the first quarter that you start in. So if you start right now in October, you have until March 31st to um, order $300 in products. So they count all of the rest of this year and three months into next year. I mean, that's like a no brainer. Who? <laughs> I mean, well, I don't know. I guess I'm like a, you know, I like to buy Stampin' Up! products, so I don't think it's that difficult to meet a $300 quarterly minimum. Um, but keep that in mind, right, that you have almost six months to put $300 in orders in, and then you basically, what we say is like renew your demonstrator status for another quarter, and then you, for $300 that next quarter, April, May, June, if you don't do it, no, no big deal. Nothing happens. I like to make sure to let you know if you're kind of in that pending status situation, but if you don't order $300 in product, then all that happens is your demonstrator ID drops and then you can't get onto the Stampin' Up! website anymore and like see all the fun new stuff that's coming, right? So, but it's seriously no pressure. So just keep that in mind. You can do whatever you want after you buy the starter kit. It's just such a great deal and our group is so awesome. I would love for you to be a part of our Inkspired Stampers team as well. On the other side, the other deal is you get... 35% more in your starter kit. So if you normally get to pick $125 in product, you get to pick $164.35 in product. So whatever, 125 plus 35% is the one for 164.35 plus sales tax. Um, but you only pay $99 plus sales tax for that one. So again, it's literally like about getting twice as much for the price. So either way, super duper great deal. Um, if you're interested, let me know. I'm happy to put your starter kit order in for you. If you're like not someone that likes to do stuff online, I am pretty darn good at doing this stuff at this point. So I'll save you the headache. Just let me know if you're interested. I'd be happy to get you signed up and get that awesome deal. And again, 20% off of all future orders after that. So, and you become an Inkspired Stamper, which we have lots of Inkspired Stampers on here too. Lots of great team members um, that you could kind of get to um, interact with on our other Facebook group and on our Facebook Live for our team meetings. Come to our team meetings if you're local. If you're not, you just watch them on Facebook Live. And I think people really kind of feel like they're a part of things 
also kind of through that Facebook Live too. So again, if you have any questions, please let me know. But you have only a few more days. So we have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So Tuesday, October 31st, Halloween, that night, that's the last day to order the Stampin' Up! Starter Kit. So if you're interested, please let me know, okay? <clears throat> All right, Um, I think we are ready. Well, one quick thing I want to tell you guys about too is we have, and I've kind of been trying to mention these like on Facebook Lives and at our um, uh, classes and events and things that I do here locally, but Stampin' Up! is definitely kind of moving in the way of what they're calling like online exclusives, meaning you're not going to see this stuff in any catalog. So if you get the man, um, the annual catalog, if you get either the holiday mini or the spring mini catalog, you're not going to see this stuff in there. It's only available online and only available while supplies last. They said in some cases they're, you know, if they sell out of something, they're going to order more and it'll be back in and available. Other things, once it sells out, it's gone and done. So we kind of don't know, but so I guess they're trying to create that urgency of like, if you like it, get it right away because you don't know if it's going to be available for forever as opposed to um, like catalog product they generally until it gets to the end of the catalog sales period but they generally guarantee that it's going to be available so with that being said I want to show you guys I have just a couple things here um, <clears throat> there are a bunch more that are going to be available on November 7th so I'm actually doing a Facebook live next Friday so two weeks in a row which is really crazy for me these days I was kind of trying to figure out with Thanksgiving so I'm going to go every other week starting with next Thursday and then I'll take the next week off and then the next Thursday we'll be back on and then I'm sorry Friday and then the next Friday which is right after Thanksgiving I'm going to be off that weekend so I kind of flipped it so basically all you need to know right now is we have Facebook live next Friday too and I'll show you more of those I think I ordered some more of the online exclusive products that you'll be available or able to order starting on November 7th so I thought rather than I can't even show them to you I have like a black and white um flyer that I have printed out which doesn't really show you much so I ordered a few of the things and so I'll show you those next week but in the meantime I have a couple of online exclusive products um, and I hadn't even opened this paper yet now that I'm looking at it this is beautiful it is called the delightful floral and I'm going to just pull the whole pack out because it is absolutely okay like check I'm like I gotta use this paper right this is absolutely beautiful so there's front one side of that one Oh, and then they're kind of like a pretty, ooh, that's gorgeous, isn't it, on the back? And then we've got this floral right here. Oh, it's more like leaves, right? And then another kind of watercolor wash on the back of that one. Okay, so we just showed you two. Ooh, hoo, hoo, these are beautiful. Also, these little pretty, like, dainty little flowers, right? And then another wash on the back of that one. And, oh my gosh, you guys, why have I not opened this paper up before? I cannot wait to play with this. Look at it. It's absolutely beautiful. And then you see that one there? It's funny because the this pattern was actually kind of um, shining through the back. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I thought it had flowers on this side too, but it's just like, it's just the light in my craft room kind of reflecting it through. And then, ooh, we got some more pretty, oh my gosh, I don't, I think it's just because it's so soft and kind of frilly, almost seeming. Lisa, hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Okay, and then last one, more beautiful. Oh my gosh, I want, I'm gonna have to put my glasses on so we can talk about what colors are on in this pack of paper. Okay, so here, hold on. So again, this is called Delightful Floral Designer Series Paper. If you want to know the item code, it's 162356. And the colors in here are Berry Burst, Blackberry Bliss, Bubble Bath, Calypso Coral, Fresh Freesia, Lemon Lolly, Parakeet Party, Pool Party, and Pretty Peacock. So again, I'm just going to put these right up here because I feel like I need them often enough. Um, <clears throat> This paper, this gorgeous paper, is only available online, so you're not going to see it in any catalog, but again, it is the Delightful Floral Designer Series paper. And if you go, what I did um, is I was kind of testing it out. If you go to stampinup.com and you 
click on, I think, shop. And then in the um, looking glass kind of bar up at the top, if you just type in online exclusives, anything that is available online only will pop up there for you. So I think that's the easiest way to see. I, I, I thought originally they had like a little button you could click on that was online exclusives, but I didn't see that on there. So I think that's the easiest way. Just in the looking glass, type in online exclusives and they'll show you everything that is available only online. Also, we have this punch, and now I'm struggling to remember the name of it. Maybe it was like a, I don't know, some kind of label punch. Hello, Mr. Mike, how are you? <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Um, so yeah, this um, punch is another one of those that's only available online, and I'm totally drawing a blank about the name of it. But again, if you type in online exclusives at stampinup.com, this punch will come up too. So those are a couple things. There are a couple packs of um holiday designer series paper there's one that i don't have that's like kind of a saint nick paper it kind of looks a little vintage i guess i would say but it's beautiful at least online and i'm sure it's even better in person because that's usually how the paper works um so check that out and then there's another one called i think it's called shining christmas i'm going to show you those um cards in just a sec we use that designer series paper with our meeting make and takes. The thing is that when I went to search for it online, cause I realized I gave everybody a half a pack of that paper in the make and takes. Um, I was like, I couldn't, I couldn't find like the product number. And I have a feeling maybe it's already sold out cause it didn't even come up when I searched it. So don't fall in love too much with this paper just in case you can't get it. Okay, so. Um, sorry, I'm like whew, all over the place, but we're gonna do our drawing here. Um, yeah, what are we drawing for? The blooming pearls. I love these pearls. These are absolutely gorgeous. Really soft, beautiful tones. They work great for holiday projects, but they work great. I feel like they're gonna be great for like springtime kind of with those soft, beautiful colors too, right? Okay, so names are in here. If you shared our last Facebook Live video, which was two weeks ago, if you signed up for my email list, or if you shared the last class to go kit post. And next week, I will be showing you on next Friday's Facebook Live, our next class to go. Very excited, got some super cute Christmas cards in mind is what we're gonna be doing. So I'll be getting that together and I'll share that with you next week on Facebook Live. Okay, so again, don't forget, next Friday, we're doing Facebook Live again. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna draw for these blooming pearls. What do we have? Miss Debbie Green. All right, congratulations, Debbie. You are the winner of the blooming pearls. So I will get those sent out to you. And so I have decided I'm changing things up a little bit. On our next Facebook Live, again, next Friday, what is that gonna be? I think November 3rd, right? Uh, so yeah, there's like a new, a new rule. This is how we're doing things. So your name goes in that drawing. So sharing the Facebook live, but okay, here's the caveat, not just your personal page. I want you to share it to a crafting group that you're a part of. Okay. And some people like I can't see their posts. So right on here, you have to comment. Um, I shared it to fill on the blank, whatever the name of the group is, the crafting group that you're a part of. Um, cause I am desperately trying to reach some more new people. I think something's happened with my Facebook like group. I don't know if you guys saw, there were a bunch of like, I don't even know what, I think it's Temu, T-E-M-U. Crazy random people have been posting like on this Facebook group about Timu and other things. I don't know, it seems like lots of shoes and stuff. But so I kind of <clears throat> changed how um, people could like, because this is like right now, it's just open to everybody. Whoever wants to get on and be a part of things and post can. So I kind of shut it down for a little while and I feel like it really changed. Like I'm not reaching as many people as I used to. So I've been like kind of brainstorming, trying to think of how can I reach more people? So that's my one thought. My one plan is for your name to get into this little basket going forward, share the Facebook live video, but again, not just on your personal page. You can't just hit share and be done. You gotta find, you gotta share to a Facebook group and whatever group you're a part of, any kind of a crafting group, or even if it's, there are lots of like yard sale sites and that kind of stuff, I'm happy to just, I would love for you to post this out there 
um, in places where I can reach more people. So as a thank you for doing that for me, your name is gonna go in that drawing. And this is kind of fun. I changed this up a little bit too. I decided I'm gonna give away five free uh, handmade Christmas cards. So here's a little stack of cards right here that I'm gonna give away on our next Facebook Live on next Friday if you share that class, or excuse me, share this Facebook Live video to a group that you are a part of, okay? So what I think I was starting to say was I need to be able to see the link, right? So when you share, I can click on it and I can see that you, you know, just with your name, but now I wanna see that um, whoever shared it to whatever group that they're a part of. If for some reason you're like kind of hidden so I can't see your post, you need to comment right here where you shared that um the link to what Facebook group you're a part of that you shared it to. Okay. That's how your name is going to get in here going forward to win those five free handmade cards. Oh, excuse me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Um, so let's see what else I think. So we did that. Oh, so I want to show you guys the, um, make and takes, right? Um, well, our team stuff. Okay. So, um, right. Is that where I'm at? Yeah. Let's do that. Yep. Okay. So yeah, we had our team meeting last Tuesday um, and we made these beautiful make and takes. Okay. So this is the ribbon that we were talking about. Can you guys see kind of that beautiful silver and white ribbon? So if I get really close, you can see it's just super dainty, gauzy, beautiful, gorgeous ribbon, right? Um, and then a beautiful stamp set that we used. I think it was the Night Divine stamp set. And then that shining Christmas designer series paper. You can kind of see it because it is shiny paper back there. There's some vellum right on there, but again, that beautiful ribbon here. This is another one that you can really kind of see the shininess of it, right? The Oh Holy Night. And this is like a belly band too. So this, I'm not going to take it off, um, but that slips off. And then there's the inside of the card too. And then lastly, we have this the stars are shining brightly with again. So I'm just not sure if this paper is still available. I would love to tell you that it is, but I couldn't find it. So like I said, fall in love with the ribbon, order the ribbon, give it a couple weeks and you can get that. And then the paper, I don't know, I'm not sure of. Um, but if you like the layouts, the layouts are great too. Um, you can certainly make some other beautiful cards with those layouts too. Okay, then we also had, so my top five sellers for the month, I love to send them congratulations cards. So this was one, and I'll have to share my little um, secret here. So we made cards, and I don't think I, I think I, yeah, they're at the church now too. But we made cards that we punched, well, it was a die, right? So it die cut. So we used like the circle that had the Noel kind of die cut out of it. So I had all these letters and I was like, oh, what am I going to do with these? So I was, then I, was, I thought, brilliant, right? I can make more cards, send it to my top five sellers, and then add the little Noel letters on the circle there too. So I thought that was kind of fun. So again, all my top five sellers from the previous month. So we're in October. So top five sellers in September got this little card as a congratulations on your sales for the month. We also love to do a mystery project. So this was my mystery project. Um, <clears throat> here we go, right here. Um, this was what we did for our team meeting. So what I do is I give the dimensions. So I tell them everything that like, you know, how to cut your designer series paper and your cardstock um, and so on. And then they kind of gather what they would like to use for their mystery project. And then we put them together and I kind of, it's like this whole, ooh, the mystery is solved, right? Here's my card and this is what I had in mind and what did you guys have in mind? And we put these together and then share them um, on our Facebook group also. So lots of fun things that we do on our Inspired Stampers team Facebook group and in our team meetings. As well, we do swapping. So even if you're long distance, you can make swap cards. So for example, Teresa, who's watching right now, lives in New Jersey. So she puts her cards together, sends them to me. I take them to the meeting, um, trade them around, swap them around with everybody and mail them back to her. So even if you're long distance, you can still participate in the swapping. So this was Teresa's card. And I loved kind of the idea. She used the circle saying stamp set and then with that cute little pumpkin there too. And kind of it's got that real fall feel or theme to it too, doesn't it? Um, with the colors that she used also. So that was Teresa's swap. This one was Susie's swap. So Susie Meekumber. Yeah, I'm like, okay, do I have that? Yeah. So can you guys see? So cute. Um, that little bunny that's on top of the polar bears back there too. 
This is a beautiful one too. So this one was from Sharon. Uh, Sharon greeting. And I'm gonna have to open this up. Now I'm, because I haven't opened and I'm curious. We're gonna have to see what this thing looks like, right? <clears throat> So I think, oh yeah, she used the deckled circle dies. Isn't that cool, right? So look at that. Oh my gosh, so fun. So she, Sharon, you're gonna have to tell us, how did you do that? I think she probably, um, she probably had two layers of cardstock and put the circle die down, down on the um, die cutting machine and then she just didn't put it all the way through so that this stayed together. That's what I'm thinking. She probably had like a piece of, cardstock folded in half and scored and then ran it through to that point so that she didn't cut it off. That's what I'm thinking she did. But if there's something else, Sharon, that I'm missing, because it doesn't look like anything is adhered together. So that's my thought anyway. Very cool, Sharon. And then this is beautiful black and white. Charlene Mogg uh, gave us this one right here. This was her swap that says the thank you. Love that one too. And then, oh, this is just beautiful. This is Elsie Lynch's swap too with that gorgeous I think that's the falling leaves stamp set and then this one oh the colder weather the colder weather brings us together beautiful this is from sunday oh strander created this one with that gorgeous now i believe this all about autumn i ordered it this week i've had it this is a perfect example where people have wanted that all about autumn designer series paper so you can see that beautiful foil pattern on one side of all the paper and then oh just absolutely beautiful 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 and i would not have thought to put that is the Moody Mauve, and it's gorgeous, isn't it? I would not have thought to put um, that paper on Moody Mauve cardstock, but it is absolutely beautiful. Anyway, this paper is available. This is like I started, I feel like my, this is how my brain works these days though. It's like goes a mile a minute and it's all over the place all the time so that I have a hard time keeping up. I'm sure you guys have, have just as hard a time. Um, but my point was all about Autumn Designer Series paper. I've had a list of people that have wanted this paper and I've just every week I try to order it. And this was the week I kind of knew because I can look at our inventory status report um, and see, okay, it's supposed to be available this week. So I got on and like got as many packs ordered as I had people that were wanting it. So if you're ever wanting anything, just let me know and I can put your name on the little list too, okay? And then lastly, this is a beautiful birthday card from Jenny um, created this one as well. So there we go. All right, so lots of fun. We have lots and lots and lots of fun at our team meetings each month. Okay. Um, I think, oh, and then I got to say a big welcome. So people that took advantage of that awesome starter kit special. So welcome to Sue Ostrander, Lori Votero, Kathy Wilton, Kathy Brecht, and Linda Turner all took advantage of that awesome starter kit deal this month. Um, and again, I don't know, did they get 35% more or did they take advantage of 35% discount? I don't know, but either way, it's an awesome, awesome deal. So congratulations, ladies, and welcome to our Inspired Stampers team. We're so happy to have you as part of our group. Absolutely. Um, okay, so normally I would do my next drawing, um, but I didn't have any online orders and I know, so what I, I was kind of thinking about it today. I'm like, you know, you guys were all so gracious. You heard my call for like, oh, let's try to meet that $400,000 sales mark by the end of September. So October has been a little bit slow, which, you know, I figured that could probably happen. Um, but again, if you guys need anything for your holiday projects, now's the time to order them. I would love for you to pick me as your demonstrator, order through me, use the host code that I'll give you in just a little bit. Love, 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 love for you to do that because I really, I wanted to give away that sending cheer stamp set, but with no online orders, I'm just going to have to keep it. We're going to see some fun projects very soon with the stamp set too. So um, yeah, so in the meantime, this one's back in the stash on our next Facebook Live, which is actually next Friday, right? I will put your name in the drawing to win this Merry and Bright, another awesome stamp set, right? If you order through me using the host code, we have sentiments to you and yours, well, happy in the letter A, have a, so this is definitely a builder one, right? Oh, you could do have a Merry Christmas, how about that, right? And then, so I think you could do Merry and Bright, and then we've got, Oh, what fun, exclamation point. 
Holly Jolly, that's cute, right? And Santa was here. <laughs> I love those, those are super cute, right? Okay, so super fun, cute stamp set, right? If you order through me, your name will go in the drawing to win that Merry and Bright stamp set. I've decided, because I was so bummed, I really wanted to make more of these cards and send them out. So these were what I made on our last Facebook Live. So if you order through me, you're gonna get the cards I'm gonna demonstrate today and these two cards here also. I want to make these cards. I even posted. I was like, hey, guys, no online orders. You have a great chance of winning that Sending to Your Stamp set. And I really want to make these cards for you. So I'm keeping it up. You're going to get four free cards from me. So today's cards plus last Facebook Live's cards. So four free cards from me. Your name goes in the drawing to win the Mary and Bright Stamp set. And then you also get to pick from the demo design dream team pdf tutorial which features that beautiful fall card that i created or you can pick from our free embellishment as well which are called the faceted gems trio pack these are not orderable right now so the only way you can get them is through me um, as a thank you for ordering online through me okay so i think i gotta just make sure Kind of was jumping around more than I like to, but I think we're good. Okay, so we are going to flip the camera down. I'm going to show you guys a couple more things, and then we are going to make our beautiful projects, okay? Um, let's see. I'm going to give you this host code, too, right? Okay, so turn your heads away. We're flying through the air. Okay, flip the camera down so you guys can see what's next. Okay, let's see. There we go. All right. Perfect. All right, I'm going to grab a quick sip of water. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to show you. So actually, well, this is our host code, right, for the month. Okay, so here are a couple of scrapbook pages that we made. So last month, we made this page. And then this month, we made the second coordinating page. So we always do three pages each month. So we made two separate pages and then this single page last month. And then we finished up. Okay, so that's that one. And then that's that one. So we finished up our two-page spread, right? Two pages with this one this month. And then we made these two pages. Do they go? Maybe they go this way. Maybe this way is better. And there's something. Ah! Oh my gosh, I stuck that right up my fingernail. Ouch, that hurts. <laughs> it was like a little plastic something. Thought it was adhesive at first, but okay. So then here is our second set, our two page spread, right? Christmas is better together. I love that. And then the cute little warm wishes with the polar bear, right? So fun scrapbook pages that we are making at class each month. If you're ever interested in joining us at scrapbook class, it's the last Tuesday of every month, except for in October. Halloween is the last Tuesday of the month, so we bumped it up a week, so we did it this past Tuesday instead. Okay, so, oh, you know what else I want to show you guys? I do have it right here. Okay. Um, so this is another one of those online exclusive kits called, this is the Rustic Christmas Countdown Kit, and I have been wanting to open this up and check it out. So it comes in this cute box. It kind of looks like a paper pumpkin box. It's like the same size. If you've ever wondered, this is a paper pumpkin box size. It's not paper pumpkin though, just so you know. It's a completely separate kit. That's another thing. Online exclusives have a bunch of kits that are available that you won't see in any of our catalogs either. Um, the only way you can see them is online. And so here is an example. Like, look at, so, and I haven't even opened this. Well, I guess I did super quick peek, but this is all packaged up and I want to show you guys. So it's like a little advent calendar, right? So the rustic Christmas countdown kit. Um, okay. Let's just see. I'm like so excited. Oh, they do. Okay. So here, if you guys can see the rustic Christmas countdown kit. I just think they're so cute. And I think they're little like pocket envelope kind of things. So you can put little treats or something inside. Yeah. Okay. So they give you some dimensionals. We've got some twine. It looks like crumb cake and maybe cherry cobbler. Then we've got, ooh, some little gems too. Some little red sparkly. Oh, sequins, right? That's fun. And I bet they have the um, the glue dots on the back of them. Okay, so I scooted those off to the side, but we've got, oh, look at these. Okay, so we got a bunch of these little pocket things, right? Oh, yeah, and so you can put like a little note or a little treat or something inside, and these are kind of, I think they're perforated. Yeah, there's a little perforation right there. 
So you can fold that down. Oh my gosh. So look at how cute with the little scallop on them. So there's a little bit um, darker, I'm going to say crumb cake, and then we've got like a little bit lighter version also, but again with the scallop and a little envelope. I'm just so, okay. So I think these are going to get put together like this weekend or in the next few days. Very excited about checking this out. Um, I love, so growing up, we had a little advent calendar and ours was like a little felt calendar. So my sister and I got to trade off, you know, if I was odd days, she was even days. And we would basically, um, so it's one of those where it has like the little pockets, one through 25, and there's like a little ornament in each of the pockets. And then up higher is a tree that you decorate. So each day you pull a little a little ornament out of a pocket and put it up on the tree. So I found one like that for my kids to do through the years too. And I still like, I totally love that thing. Um, so kind of in keeping with that, this is kind of the idea, right? Of a little, the rustic Christmas countdown kit. So what's cool is they even give you, so we've got all that, like this is everything that's included in the kit. And then inside here are probably kind of, well, if I can open it, yeah. Okay, so then they give you some, kind of directions on how to put things together, right? There's like a whole like kind of step-by-step -step how you would do it. There's also videos. They usually put videos together too. Oh, and you can see, so there's so many of them that are, so I guess there are like four different versions and they tell you what you need in each of the different versions. Um, and let's see, so we've got some little wood grain guys, some more, but then, and they're all perforated too, so you don't even need to do any die cutting. Um, we've got these guys right here and those right there, right? And then, oh my gosh. So yeah, that's kind of the cool part is everything is already perforated. So you just pop it all out. Oh, look at, oh my gosh, this is just gorgeous. Oh, and then look at like these little doily kind of guys, right? Oh, we've got some glue dots there too. They always give you mini glue dots right there. And we've got some more. I think these are all going to be the same, but oh my gosh, this is absolutely gorgeous. So ladies, maybe i'm i can't guarantee um because if it doesn't happen um in the next little bit maybe i'll put it together at our girls craft o rama next weekend so i'll be showing this to you guys at some point i promise i'm just not quite sure when but the finished projects anyway so yes <laughs> hi miss diane i'm glad you like that kit also i'm like super duper excited to put that together now i've been yeah i was like do i open it or do I wait and open it on Facebook Live? And I thought, you know, it's kind of fun to like share like in the like surprise the first time seeing it with you guys as well. So I'm glad I waited and did that. Okay, um, I think, let me just make sure. Yep, okay, we are going to do our stamping now. How about that, huh? Okay, all right, so I got my grid paper. I always like to, I'm going to move this around so I make sure if I can see the grid paper. There we go. And then I know you guys are, you can see everything too. Okay. All right. So our first project, and I have a little note right in here that says, go slow when tying bows so you can show people how to make them. <laughs> so that was my, I don't know if I said that last time or not, but my friend Linda Kohlhoff, who, who was at um, our one day retreat the other day or a couple weekends ago now, she's like, you do such nice bows. And I, she doesn't feel like really good or comfortable making them. So I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to make a point to like show how to make the bows on Facebook Live. So let me hopefully remember by the time we get to that point. But here is our first card, again, featuring that Christmas classic stamp set. So now it's not backwards or upside down or inside out or anything. So again, the Christmas greetings, Gris Christmas, deck the halls, peace on earth, and tidings of comfort and joy, and then some other beautiful imagery in there also. So, okay, first project. I loved, so this actually, I totally cased this from our mystery project because I loved the format, kind of the layout of it. I was like, okay, we're going to do something like this also on Facebook Live. So I love doing that, right? Um, you know, and I think there's no shame in it either, right? When you find a cute card layout, I mean, doesn't it, you, it's, it's similar, but not too, right? I mean, it's, it is, it's, I didn't really change much. Um, even the punch is the same, right? But with different colors and sentiments and theme, it can be very, very different. Here's another, okay. So this is the other thing I have been wanting. <laughs> Thank you, Robin. I appreciate that. <laughs> no shame, girl. She says that's so cute. I have been wanting to use, this is called the, um, Real red and gold. Where's my 
dotted ribbon, real red and gold dotted ribbon. This is another online exclusive. It is item code 162353. Hello, Philomena. Thanks for joining us. Um, so this is another one that's only available online, okay? Um, so you can't, you're not going to see it in any stores, I mean, in any, in any stores. Definitely you won't see it in any stores. You won't see it in any catalogs either. Um, but I have been wanting to play with this ribbon for so very, very long. And finally, I was like, okay, this ribbon works really well with this designer series paper. So this is finally what we're doing. And what is this designer series paper? I only have a little bit left. Let's see. Do I have it in my stash here somewhere? Huh. Well, I thought I put it away, but I guess not. So, okay, let me show you in the catalog what this paper is. <clears throat> I think it's actually part of the suite, too, that mega suite. But let me, before I, yep, Joy of Christmas on page 29. Okay. Yeah, I only have little bits and pieces of this paper left. So this is the designer series paper that we're using right here, this Joy of Christmas. So we're using that pattern right there. So a lot of them have kind of wood grains on the background or some other pretty kind of pattern. Um, there's one side that's definitely more kind of floral, I would say, um, than the other side, yeah. But I will give you item codes too. This happens to be item code 161958 if you're interested in ordering that Joy of Christmas Designer Series paper, um, you can do that. But I will give you item codes, dimensions, everything that you need to know about those projects will be on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon, okay? All right, so in the meantime, <clears throat> let me show you what we got going here. Okay, so real red card base. So we start with a piece of real red cardstock. And what else, Sam, and actually, can I do this if I flip it like this? So if you can imagine, here we go, we'll do this. Here's eight and a half inches, here's 11 inches. So the first thing I did was I cut the full piece of cardstock off at eight and a quarter inches, okay? So you only need eight and a quarter and then along the um, eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches, okay? So that's what we started our card base with, four and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And then we scored it again at five and a half like I always do, okay? So that goes there. This is going to go there like that, okay? Next, we have another piece of this real red cardstock right here that measures. This one is three inches by seven and a half inches, and we scored it at three and three quarter inches, okay? So this one is what goes right on here like this, okay? Next, we have a piece of, this is our designer series paper, that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. And that one is gonna go right inside. Actually, it's not. I was gonna say that doesn't seem quite right. Let's flip that down a little bit better. Yeah, it's yeah, three and three quarter by five inches. Okay. So again, three and three quarter by five inches is our piece of designer series paper that goes right there. This one is gonna lay inside just like that, right? Then let's see what I want to show you. I'll show you that piece of designer series paper. Right there, this one measures two and one quarter by three and three quarters. So that's going to go right there, okay? Next, we have this piece of basic white cardstock. goes inside three and a half, yes, three and a half by two and three quarters. That's going to go right inside there. And then when we flip this open, or closed, I guess I should say, we have that little baby. So this one measures one inch by three and three quarter. So that's gonna go right there. And then this little guy right here goes on there and it measures two and a quarter by two and a quarter, okay? And then I just have another piece of basic white cardstock to do our stamping and punching. There's no die cutting on this one, I just realized. How nice is that? Good sometimes, right? Yes, thank you, Philomena. I'm glad you like the fold on that too. Me too. Okay, so actually stamping. We have, I'm gonna grab both of my basic white pieces. Okay, so we're gonna grab our real red ink. Beauty always of Stampin' Up, right? That our real red ink coordinates with our real red cardstock. Okay, we've got Tidings of Comfort and Joy. We'll press that one right there. And then we've got these cute little berries. I just kind of wanted to put these, if you see, just kind of put those right in the corner of that. And then you've got room to write on the inside of your card also. So simple stamping on that one. Again, using that Christmas classic stamp set. Those are little berries right there that we used. Okay, so we have our modern 
label punch from the Modern Garden bundle. We're just going to punch that one out. Okay. All right. Now, I think we can start putting things together here. Grab my adhesive. And, all right, where do I start here? All right, just from the beginning, Amy. How about that, huh? <laughs> this, lots of little layers. Oh, the other thing I wanted to tell you guys about, because I loved this, the idea of this, right? So here, this is a, how did this go? Six by six piece of designer series paper. Why is that not? I mean, I think it is. It is. Somehow the patterns aren't um, lining up quite the way I feel like they should. Maybe I mixed them up, maybe from like, the one from these to these, but here, I'll show you, okay? This is a six by six piece of designer series paper, okay? And how you cut this, um, this is driving me crazy. Why won't it? I want it to all go together here. No, okay, it's not, but okay, whatever, sorry. <laughs> I really think I mixed up some of these pieces with some of these pieces because this should look like it goes together. It doesn't, but this is the idea, six by six, right? So you're gonna cut first, along the top here at three and three quarter inches, okay? And then you're gonna cut again at five inches. So you're gonna have three and three quarter, three and three quarter by five, and then you're left with this little baby piece that is the one inch by three and three quarters, okay? You're also left with these pieces that measure the two and one quarter by two. You cut it at two and one quarter, and then you're left with this piece that is two and one quarter by three and three quarters. So hopefully that makes sense because it's actually really cool how that worked out. We're going to flip all of these over. Okay. Get that running again there. Okay. So there's that one. That one. I'm going to do this one. And we're going to do this one. A little bit more right there. Okay. So... On the inside of our card, we're going to put our three and three quarter by five inch piece of designer series paper. Beautiful, right? Then we're going to flip this closed and we're going to put this piece right on. Oops, that's a little bit crooked. Let's get that a little bit straighter. Okay, right. Then we're going to add this piece right here. Yep, so we're going to go... Okay. All righty. We're going to do this one right there. Okay. Let's add our basic white on the inside now. I did get, I'm like, did that adhesive actually happen? So you can see, I only put adhesive on the corners of my pieces. It's just like a thing I've always done. So I don't think you need it all over on the inside either. And then that little one inch strip just goes kind of right through does that look I'm trying to get it centered <clears throat> there I think that looks centered and then this piece just goes on a diagonal and I want to kind of center this one too so from side to side right I'm gonna move it do, 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 right about there I would say right okay so we're looking good so far right now we are going to tie our beautiful, this red and gold polka dot ribbon. Okay, we're going to just loop that right around here. And you'll see, so it's kind of more gold on that side and more red on this side. So you want to flip it a little bit. And I'll show you what I mean by that as I'm tying my bow here. Okay, you are inevitably, so see how I'm going to flip that over because I want the loops to be the red and gold. Okay, and so when you do this one, you want that gold showing there because when you put this through, then it flips it over and you see the red and the gold. And it just depends then. Sometimes I can get it so that you can see the red and gold and sometimes you're going to see more of the gold on the tails of the bow, which is okay. All right, we're going to cut that. I am going to... Kind of carefully, I want to scoot that up a little bit. Normally, I can kind of like, I'm trying to kind of, well, let's see. Um, now, which way is the top? <laughs> I'm 
like I flipped it around so many times I can't even remember which way is the top on this thing, right? Okay, so there we go. All right, there's our pretty bow. I'm going to make, so I want it to be a little bit smaller. I don't want it to be too overpowering on this card. So I'm actually going to trim that down just a touch and then that one just a touch also. There we good. There we go. <laughs> yes, Philomena. I know, no waste. I'm all about that. No waste for sure, but I just love that ribbon. Okay, now we need some dimensionals. We're going to pop our little sentiment up here on dimensionals. I love this. Tidings of comfort and joy, right? All right, and we're going to put this little guy right there okay I'm gonna kind of put that underneath a little bit and then of course I had to use some bling right so we've got these are the festive pearls got a few packs of these little pieces or little bits we have gold silver um this is kind of a pale green it probably used to be soft succulent but those are gone now and then um a red maybe cherry cobbler right there too so yes I'm gonna use the gold ones because I kind of liked how those coordinated Oops, with the gold in the ribbon, too. So we're going to just put a couple of little dots, okay, right there and right there. And there we go. There's our first card, right? Tidings of comfort and joy. So pretty, huh? And I love that ribbon. So again, only available online, not found in any of our catalogs or stores, <laughs> which we don't even have stores, so that can't happen, right? Okay, so card number one. All right, we're gonna use our little chamois and just kind of clean our stamps off here. Okay, thank you, Philomena. I'm glad you like that card. Me too. I'm all about the Christmas now, right? So like I said, make sure you get your orders in for your Christmas projects. Time is ticking now at this point. Okay, so next one we have is this beautiful card featuring, so we've got again, our Christmas classic stamp set, our piece on earth, right? Oh, um, <laughs> not very often, Robin. She is asking me, where did I put it? Did I put it back? Yeah, she's asking about my chamois. <laughs> okay, yeah, um, that's kind of the joke, like at classes, like um, it's actually really hard right here. So it, uh, because someone was telling me, and I hate to even say it, but that theirs almost got a little bit moldy. And so I wondered if maybe she was wetting it too much. Um, so that's like the joke, like I said, is I don't wet mine very often at all. So this is actually getting pretty hard out here. So when you see me cleaning, I'm only like cleaning in the inside, which you can tell too, right? It's much darker here. Um, but I will let it until it gets pretty hard and there's not much soft, like it's not, you can't squeeze this and get any, um, uh, you know, there's no water coming out of this. So I think that's kind of step one is don't let it get too wet. Um, but yeah, I don't, I mean, every couple weeks, maybe I might add some, you know, I'll rinse it. And I've only ever like rinsed it with tap water. I've never like put it in the dishwasher and run it through or anything like that either. Like, I don't know. I mean, I've had it for a really long time and it's still in good shape. So, but yeah, I think it just as long as it's, is it's, a little bit wet or a little bit smushy, not even wet, smushy, I'm going to say. <laughs> if this feels smushy, I'm good. This is hard. This is not smushy anymore. But once it gets like, you know, there's very little smushy left, then I wet it again. <laughs> so how often is that? I'm not totally sure I can say. Uh, hopefully that answered your question, Robin. Everything's very technical around here. I will say that. Okay, so I'm sure you guys have seen, because it's absolutely gorgeous, this is the Winter Meadow Designer Series paper. It is available to order. It had been kind of um, unavailable to order for a while, but it's back in, and I was super excited to use some of this paper. This is actually from that other paper pack, this um, Joy of Christmas Designer Series paper. It's funny because I think I was going to use a wood grain from that pattern and I happened to flip it over and I was like, oh, wait, you can't even see this. This one right here. This is from Joy of Christmas, but these two are from this Winter Meadow. I was trying to find three patterns that I liked in here and then I decided to use a wood grain and then I flipped it over and I was like, oh, I actually like that pattern better on this one. So that's from Joy of Christmas. And then so Joy of Christmas here and then these two are from Winter Meadows. But I want to show you guys. You can see like the beautiful, there's like a little reindeer or a deer there, right? Beautiful. 
but this was the hot one. Like everyone wanted this paper. Um, so it like sold out very quickly, but it's back in now. So you can get it again now. This is the pattern we used right here. And then here's the back side that we used right there. And then some more Christmas tree pattern with some more wash there. So beautiful, beautiful pack of paper. Okay, so let me, oh, and then I have to show you. <laughs> That's right. So because I love to use patterns, you know, for other things, this was a card that I made, I don't know, whenever this paper was um, available, but it was the card layout that I loved, right? So I'll give you the dimensions in just a sec, but you can see it. And I, what I love about it is that it features the free, diff, th the free, the three different patterns of designer series paper. So kind of went crazy. So for my swap that I participated in earlier, I guess back in September, I was like, Ooh, I love that card. I love that layout. So here we go. We're going to make this card right here. And then for my customer appreciation event, I was like, oh, well, we got to make another one with this layout because I love this layout so much. So this, again, features that Joy of Christmas designer series paper. So you can see that's kind of the shaded spruce pattern. And this is like the real red cherry cobbler pattern. And then obviously this is what we're making today. So so they're all um, similar, right? But you can do like this is more, well, a thank you or a birthday, right? And then I've got some Christmas ones here too. And then maybe a tag or the little um, labels on there. So had to show you guys those. So I definitely get inspiration from previous projects that I've made for sure. Whoopsie daisy, as that goes flying. All right, <clears throat> here we go. So we've got our ink, we've got our ribbon. Let me tell you about dimensions here. Okay, so we're gonna start with a piece of thick white cardstock. Okay, here's our... You guys can see that, right? Yeah. Okay. So along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. Okay. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches. Okay. So there's our actual card base, right? Then I have a piece of basic white cardstock. This one is going to measure four by five and a quarter inches. And that one you can just kind of see it's layered, but then popped up on dimensionals. Can you just kind of see that there? Okay. And then our designer series paper. So we got that piece right there that measures two and a half by three inches, okay? Then we've got this one that is the backside of that that measures two and a half by two inches that goes right there. And then this was the other one, that Joy of Christmas, the wood grain. I was gonna do that, and then I flipped it over and I was like, I like that side better. So this one measures one and a quarter by five and one eighth, and that's gonna go right there. And then here, this is the piece that we need to do our little piece on our stamping and die cutting. Okay, so I'm actually going to die cut this piece first because I thought it was easier to get that um, layered on there or stamped on there the way I wanted it. So we are going to use, these are, okay, this is like all over the place here, the Merriest Trees dies. And I love, so these are the, this is the part of the bundle that I used on last week's Facebook Live. Oh, your order just arrived. Yay, Robin. That's very cool. Good. So you're going to get to be crafting this weekend then, hopefully, right? Okay, so these are like a jumbled mess, but we've got four different sizes of trees and lots of other stuff that goes with the trees. And then this cute little um, tag or label. Perfect, right? Just add a little something in there that I wasn't expecting. I love that. Okay, so here we go. We are going to die cut our little tag here. <laughs> that's cute Robin I'm glad you're so excited I love when my orders arrive too lots and lots of fun right it's like Christmas I'm sure my UPS guy's like wow this lady orders a lot from Stampin' Up because <laughs> you know the boxes say Stampin' Up all over them right you can't there's no like denying that you got a Stampin' Up box like it's definitely called out loud and clear <laughs> on the box. Okay, so we are going to use our blueberry bushel ink. And again, the beauty of the coordination, right? That our blueberry bushel cardstock or color in our designer series paper matches. Okay, so there's our piece on earth. Oh, I just, the font is just gorgeous. Now hold on, because I did do a little stamping on the inside. Oh yeah, okay, so let's do this too, right? Um, on the inside of our card itself. Okay, so now we're going to do, to be careful not to get anything on my white card stock, right? We're going to do 
That's upside down. I can tell. There's our season's greetings. Yeah, you know, I had to use that stamp because I, there's just, isn't that beautiful? The font. I, I'm, you're going to see this, these stamps all over the place because I'm going to use them all the time. <coughs> I can just tell. Okay. I'm going to grab my little grid paper here because we're going off the bottom of this. We're going to scoot our blueberry bushel ink out of the way. We're going to use garden green on this one right here. So we've got these little frond or fern. I don't know whatever they are, right? So I don't want to make a mess of my grid paper. So I just use that little guy. And then see, still beautiful and pristine there. And then, okay, precision is needed. We're going to stamp these little guys in the corner. <laughs> so cute, huh? Just a little, adds just a little something there. So, 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 so cute. Okay, now, all right, I'm going to just scoot these up here. Get those out of the way. Okay, we'll put some dimensionals behind this thing. Get that all ready to go, right? Okay, there's that. And while we're at it, let's just do our little bow here. Okay, this is the joke. Um, for whatever reason, I can never remember which way this is going to go. Mm, isn't that, I don't, it's like I do it a million times and it's always the wrong way. And I think I know it and I've got it and then, nope, it's still the wrong way. So what do I mean by wrong way? I don't know. Is there really a right way or a wrong way? But I feel like there is. Yeah, that's the right way. That's the wrong way. Okay, so why can I never? Okay, so you're going to want to put these through to the front. The ends go through to the front. I don't, I feel like I need to have like a little jingle or something. <laughs> you guys need to make up something for me so I can remember that. So this is how they go, right? The ends, because I want that little knot on the front. You see like it is there? Because I don't think that looks as good, right? That's the back. This is the front, but... And I've already forgotten which way is it? <laughs> oh my God. It's all right. I just, normally I'm not doing it on Facebook Live, so it's really not that big of a deal. Actually, we're going to cut those after. Let's add that on. Okay, but isn't this this pecan pie ribbon? What is this called? Because I love this ribbon. So it's a pecan pie bordered ribbon, right? Yes, pecan pie bordered ribbon. Beautiful. <laughs> There we go, Robin. That's what I'm talking about. Route it through the back. Make your card stack. Yes. I feel like we should be like doing like a little break dance or something, right? Like, what you know, however they do that, right? <laughs> oh my God. Okay. I have not even, I have not had a cocktail yet, ladies, honestly, even though I'm probably acting like I have. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. It's just, you know, we're just having fun here, right? You guys got what I was trying to like break it down, right? You know? <laughs> Oh my God. Okay, here we go. We're going to just get back to what I'm supposed to be doing here, right? <laughs> All right, so we're going to add this one, and you want to have just a little border of white showing around these. And I'm not even pressing it all the way down because I feel like the other day when I did this, I wanted to move things a little bit. So I'm kind of just tacking it down nice and easy. Make sure, but I feel like I'm looking pretty good here. I gotta scoot that up just a touch. That one goes up. There, okay, good, all right. And I like to just kind of flip that over. All right, now we're gonna add some dimensionals behind, oops, oh. <laughs> thank you, Philomena, so clean and pretty. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I feel like I've maybe even gotten a little bit more simple as time has gone on, um, but I still love, right? I, I mean, the paper, right? Isn't that, it's just gorgeous. Yeah, you don't have to do a lot. Just add, I mean, I guess my general recipe, right, is some um, designer series paper is a lot of times what I kind of start with. That helps me figure out what colors I'm going to use because I just use the coordinating colors. Um, and then I'll pull like ribbon like this. I can kind of see some brown tones in there. I was trying to find, you know, oops, did I have um, like any uh, blueberry bushel or um, 
I did have garden green now that I think about it. I didn't have any shade of spruce, but I was trying to find some ribbon in any of these colors. Obviously, the ink works perfectly with the colors in the designer series paper. Um, and then just add a little, I always, it's ribbon and a little bit of bling. I always have to have a little sparkle, a little bling. I think that texture is what's created with the ribbon and then with the bling too. And that's why I kind of always... I would say, yeah, that's like my general recipe. These are the adhesive backed sparkle gems. I've got maybe a couple of different packs in here is kind of what I'm seeing. They're a little bit layered on top of each other. So let's kind of use these that are kind of hidden back. We're gonna put one little sparkle right there and then I think I used some smaller ones in the other spots. So there, there we go, ladies. What do you guys think? They're beautiful, aren't they, right? Love these projects. Okay, so don't forget, I'm actually bonus, bonus here, right? Okay, so if you order online through me, because I was just so sad that I couldn't make you these cards, guys. So here we go. If you order online through me, you're gonna get today's projects and our last Facebook Lives projects. You're gonna get all four of these cards as a thank you from me. Your name is gonna go in the drawing to win the Merry and Bright stamp set. And you also get to pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the free embellishment, which are called free embellishment faceted gems trio pack. All right. And then also don't forget sharing this Facebook live video, new rule in order to get your name in this little basket right here, you need to share this Facebook live video to any group that you're a part of, a crafting group, a yard sale site group, any group that you're a part of, just love for you to get the word out there about how much we have on these, how much fun we have on these Facebook Fridays. All right. So thank you guys so very much. I hope you have a happy Halloween next week on Tuesday. Don't forget starter kit special ends on Halloween next Tuesday, October 31st. All right. Thanks guys. Have a great weekend and we'll be back right here next Friday. Very excited about this. All right. See you guys then. Thank you. Bye-bye.